Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Shaw. 24 minutes before the hour on this Monday morning. In California, the latest storm system has moved on, but weather-related problems are sticking around. A Yosemite, a travel destination hotspot, is closed until further notice. Tens of thousands of people remain without power. Debris is waiting to be cleaned up. And even as some landmarks look to open again, more winter weather is in the forecast. Emily Schmidt has the latest. Last year, more than 190,000 people visited Yosemite National Park in March. But this year, the park has been closed since February 25th. Hit by a series of storms that dumped 21 inches of rain in some part, more than 15 feet of snow in others. This Saturday, the park plans limited access to Yosemite Valley for the first time in three weeks, seeking normalcy like so many places in California. What can we do? We just have to sit it out. Even sitting it out isn't easy. A Bear Valley ski patrol before and after comparison shows powder up to the ski lifts, and thousands of people are sitting in homes without power. We are uh, moving heaven and earth here. All our crews are out working and trying to get you back in lights as quickly as possible. Satellite photos from the European Space Agency show just how much sediment from water rushing down hills washed into the Pacific Ocean during the recent storms. When California Governor Gavin Newsom toured Monterey County this week, the county sheriff said, quote, everybody's tired from the cleanup efforts. The governor called the quick switch from drought to extreme flooding weather whiplash. Houses await repairs. So do cars as damaged roads emerge. I was just hearing this big bam, bam, bam right there on the bottom of my car. And what do you know? I look at that dashboard and then there's the, there's the tire, low tire pressure. Even as Yosemite partially reopens, it says winter weather is forecast again next week. More uncertainty on the way. Well, California is going to get a break today, but more winter weather, as she was saying, is going to move in and they'll get deluged again tomorrow. Right now, we're looking at uh, fairly cloudy skies and we've seen some mixed showers over central Oregon. At the Bend Airport, 36 degrees, the winds are calm. Uh, we've only had a little bit of a breeze out of the southeast and that's where we are at the Redmond Airport, 35 degrees there. So. All in all, this is a fairly mild morning. Now we're going to see cold temperatures and uh, some windy conditions as a result of the current system that's just now making landfall. Already central California getting some heavy rain and that's going to increase as we get through the day and into tomorrow. Well, it's been a very wet morning for the Puget Sound area, but a little bit of that is breaking up. Central Oregon, we're on the verge of seeing some clearer skies. Uh, it's going to take most of the morning for it to arrive, but we will get a little bit of sunshine by the end of the afternoon, and it does look like we'll have a pretty sunny day tomorrow. This uh, system is going to take most of the day to work through. And then that next system is going to work its way into California. And this is going to be another big snow event for the Sierra Nevadas. A lot of rain over the next couple days. They'll get a short break. And then uh, it looks like it'll be a fairly stormy weekend for California as well. Well, Central Oregon waking up to some fairly mild temperatures. Most of us are scattered through the 30s here to get the morning underway. And we have not, as you've witnessed, uh, just seen much wind yet this morning. Well, we're going to see the wind pick up later in the day. These westerly winds are going to get up to about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Some areas will see gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. So kind of a blustery afternoon. And with cool temperatures, it does look like it's going to stay uh, or feel even chilly, even colder. Uh, most of us will top out in 
the 40s today, so uh, we're going to be in the neighborhood of 10 to 15 degrees below average, and it'll feel colder than that once those westerly winds ramp up. Mid-teens to mid-20s for most overnight tonight, so a little colder under what will be some continued clearing. We'll get plenty of sunshine tomorrow, partly cloudy on uh, Wednesday, and those will be the warmer days of the week, still below average, that average being 56 degrees. We'll get cooler temperatures settling in. Beginning Thursday, we'll see a chance of showers return, and it looks like it'll stay with us right through the coming weekend.